member of the Ho Chunk Nation.
because they've been sick in the past, because they have a pre-existing condition. Together, we stood up, we spoke out, and we shared our stories to stop the health care bill in its tracks. We won this fight before against the repeal effort, but we cannot let up. And the stakes are high for Wisconsin workers who want good-paying jobs created here in America and not overseas. Well-connected. That's why out-of-state special interests have made 
job done. Senate 
and progressive members, Tammy Hall.
Donaldson for the support you gave me in the 2016. <laughs> election, 
He was no longer talking about providing health care to everybody. What he was supporting is a disastrous piece of legislation that would have thrown 32 million Americans off of the health care they currently have. Can you imagine hardworking people in Wisconsin and Vermont who now have health insurance suddenly losing that insurance, not knowing what to do when illness strikes their parents, themselves, or their kids? Donald Trump said, you all recall, and I remember this distinctly, he said, hey, I am a different type of Republican. Remember that? He said, I'm not Paul Ryan, as a matter of fact. I'm a different type. I am not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid or Social Security. That's what he told the American people, and he lied. Because he came forward with a budget last year that Tammy and I vigorously opposed that would have cut Medicaid by a trillion dollars over 10 years, Medicare by $500 billion, and Social Security Disability Insurance by many, many billions of dollars. Donald Trump said during his campaign, he said, I am gonna push for tax reform that will not benefit billionaires like me. It's only going to benefit the middle class and the working families. Well, shock of all shock, Donald Trump lied again. As Tammy said, 83% of the benefits are going to go over a 10-year period to the top 1%. Now, there are many things going on in this country, but one thing that is damn sure is that at a time when we have the three wealthiest people owning more wealth than the bottom half of the American people, when we have massive levels of income and wealth inequality that are worse today than at any time since the 1920s, one thing is absolutely certain. Billionaires and large profitable corporations do not need huge tax breaks to be followed by cuts to Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. based on the color of our skin, 
based on our sexual orientation, based on where we were born, based on our religion, based on our gender. Now I want you all to think for a moment about the history of our country and many other countries. We're not unique in this. And all of the struggles that have taken place for so many years, where brave people stood up confronting personal danger, confronting jail, confronting lynching, to say that in America, racism and slavery is not acceptable. Think about those struggles of our country. Gun owners, not gun owners. 
that we need common sense gun safety legislation. Every 
every other major country on earth in guaranteeing health care for all Americans. And maybe it was insane that we spend far more per capita on health care, and yet our health care outcomes lag behind many other countries. And when you talk about a crazy, dysfunctional health care system, understand today that one out of five Americans who get a prescription from their doctor cannot afford to fill that prescription because the drug companies are ripping us off every single day. majority of the American people now believe the time is right for a Medicare for all single payer. Supreme Court decision, 
called Citizens United. Billionaires are now able to spend unlimited sums of money. Many people don't know that because of a recent Supreme Court decision overruling an important section of the Voting Rights Act, that the day after, literally the day after that Supreme Court decision, you had attorneys general and governors all over this country racing around to figure out how they could suppress the vote, how they could make it harder for poor people, people of color, working people to vote. People don't know that in those states that did not, did not expand Medicaid through the Affordable Care Act, millions of people today lack health insurance because of a Supreme Court decision. And right now, we expect that in the uh, near future, there will be several major court decisions coming forward. One of them will likely be Roe versus Wade. And I believe, and I know Tammy believes, that there is something a little bit strange when you have a Supreme Court that says it is constitutional for billionaires to buy elections but it might be unconstitutional for a woman to control her own body. That's not what Tammy and I believe. That is, in fact, what some 70% of the American people believe who do not want to see Roe v. Wade overturned. Then there's another issue, Tammy, touched on it. The American people overwhelmingly, like 90%, think that it would be wrong to once again give insurance companies the power to discriminate against somebody who has cancer or heart disease or diabetes, who has a pre-existing condition. Can you imagine returning to the days when an insurance company would say to a person, hey, why do I want to insure you? You had breast cancer. I'm going to lose money on your case. We are not going back to allowing the insurance company to discriminate against people who have serious illnesses.
for she has stood with working people throughout her entire career. Yeah. It is time for all of us to stand with Tammy and make sure that she really is.